Yeah, this was the most expensive drink I've ever bought for this channel, so I hope this is good. Hello everyone and welcome to Food Review UK. My name is MJ and today we are reviewing a product that is from Lithuania. This is, I believe, the most expensive drink I've ever bought to review on the channel and one of the most expensive things I've ever bought. Um, I, I just knew I bloody well had to have it. That's the problem. Um, you know, this is what Patreon's for. We've got a Patreon page, so if you if you enjoy our videos and you want to throw us a buck here and there, we'd really appreciate any donation. Uh, so the link is in the description, guys. Uh, really hoping to relaunch Patreon soon as well. I'm supposed to be getting fibre in this property sometime. It's been like four months since the cabinet was upgraded and we've still not got it yet. Um, but the, the news is, because basically my internet is god awful, it's so slow here. Um, so when we've got the fibre up and running, I'll be able to do live streams. Right, so this is Fanta, Watermelon, Melon and Starfruit. So the thing that really made me want to get this is the fact that it, it, was, it was so explicit in saying, look guys, we get it, melons have different flavours. This has got two different kinds of melon in. You know, I just thought that was a fascinating thing. Um, and I love it. I love, I love watermelon drinks and I love the much rarer different kinds of melons drinks like your honeydews and whatnot. Um, I'd say the, the, this one sort of looks like a cantaloupe because you can see there's pictures of the fruit on there and the other thing in there is star fruit which I'm basically completely unfamiliar with. Uh, it's a zero added sugar drink. I'm not sure if it means it is a zero sugar. Um, it, it's pretty much zero sugar. It's like three calories per 500 grams. So this whole thing has got like 16 calories in. So that's not too bad at all, because uh, I'm trying to count the calories at the moment, so... Oh, it smells good. It smells like a... Uh... Actually, it smells like a lot like the Fanta Fruit Punch that I've had in uh, America, which is strawberry and watermelon. Oh, man. Oh. I'm, I'm so... I've, I've been filming videos for like three hours, and it's like two o'clock now. I haven't had, eaten anything all day. I'm so hungry. Oh god, you can smell like the, the, it is like a cantaloupe melon. Oh man, I'm looking forward to trying this. I really hope it's good, because I also, I absolutely love the packaging and the colours on this. I think it's so stunning. I hope it's good. Ugh, that is really nice. Oh, wow. It's got a little bit of sweetenery taste which you sort of normally get from zero sugar drinks, so that's cool, but, oh man, the combination of melon flavours there is really nice. You can definitely taste the watermelon, but then the, the, the other kind of melon, whatever it may be, is really strong through that as well. Now the star fruit, I don't know what star fruit tastes like, but there is this um, almost like mango-y citrus sort of edge to it. It's definitely the melons, that are taking control of the drink, but there's something else there, like a fragranty, citrusy twang, and it's really nice. Mm, it's hard to describe. Um, it's got like a sherbetty edge to it, so it's got like a nice tang, and uh, I think that's definitely helped along by the fact that the carbonation is really uh, quite strong and quite frothy on this one. I actually think it's too fizzy. I think that carbonation could be toned down a bit. But, mmm, that is really unique. Never had a Fanta drink like it. Never had any kind of soba like it. Soba. Brilliant. Never had any soda like it. Like I said at the start, I bloody love the packaging on this as well. It's so good. Um, I don't think I even said how much I spent on it. That was stupid. Uh, it was about £15.50 from eBay. So that's where I got it. Um, came straight from L L L Lithuania. Uh, be really interested to hear if we had a... <laughs> I'd be really interested to hear if we have any Lithuanian viewers actually. Let me know if you are from Lithuania. Wow. Yes, this was really nice. Um, very different, very unique. Certainly not the best soda I've ever had, but I really enjoy how different it is. I'd give it a low four stars. It's very nice and I love the look of it and it just is great. Thank you very much for watching everyone. Are there any other interesting flavours of things in Lithuania? What is Lithuania famous for? Uh, the Lithuania special, if you will. I don't know what's happening. 
listen to our podcast, Frock Unwrapped. A recent episode was about barbecues. As I filmed this, actually, there's probably been loads of episodes since. Thanks again for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Cheers. We love